up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another Big Bad Toy Store unboxing for you guys. I'm pretty excited. There's a lot, a lot of good stuff in here. I do know what's inside. Now I did receive this shipment a few days ago and I actually did do a reveal on the TMNT Collector's Instagram channel. He did go live yesterday which was Sunday and I revealed everything that was inside and I got to see everything for the first time as well this is going to be the second time I'm seeing everything in here but I'm doing it for you guys because it's pretty awesome now everything in this box I had pre-ordered for about six months or at least some of the things in this box I had pre-ordered for about six months some things had just recently arrived and I didn't have to wait that long for these items to go to my pile of loot. Now, if you don't know what the pile of loot is, is well, BBTS has a system where you pre you can pre-order or purchase all your items and have all those items sent to a pile of loot, which is basically your pile of items that you had pre-ordered and purchased. Now, all these items will remain in your pile of loot and they'll be readily available to ship whenever you want and you have about 90 days to do so. Three months is a long time. I usually wait about two weeks until I get a nice big enough box like this. So I get it all in one big shipment. That's what these BBTS unboxings are for. This is a 25 pound box. Very heavy. I did have to walk this box from the post office to my home, which is about a 13 minute walk. And boy were my arms just ripping, ripping in heat and just burning. It was not good. It hurt, but all worth it. This is a 37 inch length box by 17 depth by 18 width it's a big box check this out uh, like it, it never ends look at the size of this box so without further ado let's slice this box open and check out what's inside and of course i'm gonna need a knife to do that so which one of you on my shelf here is gonna volunteer their weapon for the cause i think i'm gonna go with michael's knife it's hard for you to see mikey he's right in the corner here but here's his knife Beautiful little box cutter, box opener. Wow, I actually damaged the blade when I was unboxing last night on the show and tell show. There's a little nicks and some scratches on here. Damn, that sucks, but hey, that's what happens when you play with your collectible toys, which I probably shouldn't be doing this, but that's, that's the fun of it. Let's go. I'm sorry, knife. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not that bad. I gotta stop doing this. I know, you're probably thinking, why don't you just stop? using the knife right now and use your sword that is next to you probably a good idea there we go the box is open and the blade is a little bit more ruined but you know what it looks like looks like michael's been busy you know all right here we go i hope you guys are excited as i am i'm pretty pumped hopefully nothing's blocking the shot here okay let's unveil First thing we're gonna pull out are the Gallery Diorama by Diamond Select. This is Wolverine. Look how beautiful that statue is. And there's a nice shot of the back. Very, very cool, that's how the statue looks. I know it's a little hard to see through the plastic. Absolutely beautiful. Wolverine, of course, is my favorite superhero. Near and dear to my heart, good old Canadian boy. Oh, I'm so excited. Next up, we have a, another gallery diorama from Diamond Select. This is the Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 11. I am absolutely in love with this action, with this, I was gonna say action figure, with this statue. There is a scorpion that has been released. He came out actually uh, months and months before I even knew that Diamond Select was a thing. I never even knew that these existed until I saw the katana. And then when I looked at the katana and Raiden and Sub-Zero, uh, Scorpion was already sold out. And this guy was on pre-order and he actually just recently arrived. He was the thing that made me check out and, and get my shipment delivered here. I wanted him so bad. So here is Sub-Zero again. My apologies for the plastic, but you guys will see it. And it's all in all of its glory outside the box very shortly. Very awesome. I love this Sub-Zero to pieces. There's so much detail on him. Of course, like the base is all icy and translucent. I love that. Translucent all day, shining a light right behind him. He's gonna, that ice is just gonna pop and just blast out. It's gonna look so sick. 
All right, with Sub-Zero out of the way, let's bust into some other things that you can't really see here. Now, let's pull out... I'm gonna pull out all the big showstoppers first. Uh, here we have the Violator from Spawn. This is the McFarlane Toys Violator that came out about eight months ago, and he literally just arrived at B uh, BBTS last week. Maybe, maybe two weeks ago uh, is when I got the notification. What sucks is I actually, I went to a Comic-Con, the Mississauga Collector's Con, and I actually picked this guy up uh, there because I forgot that he was on pre-order on BBTS. I forgot that I had him pre-ordered and I'm really pissed because you know he was not cheap on BBTS and if I literally got the notification that he's arrived to my pile of loot the day after I purchased the Violator at the Comic-Con. So if only I went I came home that day got, jumped on BBTS canceled the pre-order I could have saved myself basically a hundred bucks, right? And on that note, BBTS, this cost after shipping and imports about a hundred dollars, 90, over $90 uh, when I got the same figure at the Comic-Con for 50 bucks. I actually have the bloodied version signed from Todd McFarlane coming. So I'm gonna have three beastie, beastly figure. If you haven't seen him, that is how he looks like on the box. He's very different than the classic traditional Violator, which I actually have right here. Now look at the size difference. This is the classic Violator right here, and here is the new Violator. Just how, look how monstrous the new one is versus the old one, eh? He's just so beastly. I do like the creepy lankiness of the original Violator, but I also love the chonkiness and the, 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 he's just a monster. He's, look at him, he's awesome. He's definitely the biggest action figure, heaviest action figure I've ever purchased. That is Violator, let's move on. All right, next up, I have something very cool and special. This is the Goliath, the Gargoyles Goliath Q-Fig. Now, I have purchased Q-Figs before. I actually have the, the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Q-Figs. I absolutely fell in love with those guys and when I saw that he was on pre-order had to get him this is one of the coolest $20 purchases ever I love love this Goliath I love actually the packaging for Q-Fig check that out and I love the messaging in here that says you know boxes are all are meant to be opened I love that nice little product shot of Goliath here and I did actually take him out during the show and tell show yesterday so I'm gonna take him out right now it's literally that easy. You just open it up. Boxes are meant to be open. It's that simple. Check out this Goliath, everyone. How wicked is this? Come on, focus. There we go. How cool is that? Really, really love that Goliath. Oh my God, look at the back of him. Love the wings. I love the, the stance, the pose he's in. Like he's just breaking out of, you know, like the, the stone. Now there is a Demona Q-Fig available. And after seeing how cool this Goliath is, I'm definitely going to have to pick up that Demona because I now I need them all. I got all the four turtles. Now I need all the gargoyles. And I think there's only Goliath and Demona available right now. But there is Goliath, guys. I am so, so happy that he looks this cool. And I can't wait to add more to the collection. Let's move on, shall we? I don't know if you can see him, but there he is. Hello, Goliath. How you doing, man? We have... Hunter from the Bad Batch. This is the Black Series, well, Star Wars, the Black Series Hunter. I love the Bad Batch. I honestly just can't wait to have all of the Bad Batch in the collection. Again, I'm obsessed with this show. I highly recommend everyone checking out the Bad Batch on Disney Plus if you haven't. Check it out, season two coming next year. I can blabber on and on about the Bad Batch. And the next item that we have here is Halloween Kills. Well, Michael Myers from Halloween Kills. Very, very excited about this one. I love Michael Myers. Obviously, that's what I, I have him right here. I have him back here. I got a couple on the shelf, a couple Mikeys there. I do dig all the product shots that we have of Michael on the back here with the, the big pike and the baseball bat with the mask over here. Love that. Sometimes when I open these boxes, I don't even actually look at the figures first. I kind of just present them to you. I gotta actually take my time and look at these figures as well. Man, the, the bandaged hands with the two fingers. Very, very cool. I love that. 
There's only two more after this one. And here we are back to the Black Series, Star Wars The Black Series. We have the ultimate Darth Maul. There he is. I love the box. This box is awesome. Very, very cool and collector friendly. He will have a review as well. There's Darth Maul so you can take a closer look for yourselves. He's one of my favorite Sith Lords, probably my favorite Sith Lord uh, next to Vader. I think everyone has always wanted to see a Vader versus Darth Maul fight. Who would win? Of course, Vader would probably destroy Darth Maul, but nonetheless, it would be a fight to the death and a good fight at that. We'll see how much further down the Black Series hole, hole I go. This is actually celebrating the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. I don't know, it's probably gonna be worth something uh, down the road someday, but you know, it's gonna be open, it's a toy. It's meant to be messed around with and played with. So finally, last, but certainly not least, this is the big ticket item. This is the thing I've been wanting. I missed the, I didn't actually miss the pre-order. I didn't want it when it first was announced. My buddy Joe even asked, hey, are you gonna jump in on that thing? And I said, no way, man, I don't need that in my life. I needed it. I needed it and when BBTS had them on pre-sale not too long ago, it was like for a short window, I had to jump on it. And instead of me talking about it, let's just get to it. Here we have there we go, the street diorama from NECA. Look at all this. So it works very well with what your five to eight inch scale, what's it say here? It accommodates most six to nine inch figures. That's what it says on the back of the box. There we go, there's the back of the box. So you get a better look of what we're messing with here. Look how cool that is. How awesome is that gonna be in photography and in like my photos and the videos? I think it's gonna look really really cool and it looks like let's just flip to the back of uh, the front it's a bigger picture it's deep you can actually put stuff in these windows and lights i always wondered how people were able to do that did they customize their own street scene but no it's actually thick enough where you can put people in the window michael myers or whoever with lights in the background in there really make your scenes and your photos really pop this will find a space probably gonna build it on top of my turtle layer and now to actually get to work and actually start using it that is the unboxing of the big bad toy store shipment the pile of loot for today i hope you enjoyed it uh there's lots in here and if you guys have a specific you know figure or toy that i unboxed today that you actually want to see a review of let me know down in the comments i'm gonna go ahead and actually open up one of these gallery diorama. You know what, I'm gonna grab some tape, tape this box shut, and then we're gonna use that as our surface. Alrighty, and after a little bit of shuffling around, I managed to find a smaller box that we can use as a tabletop to display Sub-Zero here. This is actually the box from my last BBTS unboxing. So here we go, this is Sub-Zero from Diamond Select from Mortal Kombat 11. First thing that I noticed that's different than the other ones is this actually comes in the MK11 packaging, which is really cool. The other ones were generic Mortal Kombat red packaging. This is specific to Mortal Kombat 11, which is quite weird because this is not the Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 11 at all. Yes, you can actually unlock the skin of this particular Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 11, but this is not the base skin for Sub-Zero, like this is the base skin for Scorpion. This is actually the skin that the Diamond Select Scorpion comes in, which is really cool. So I'm actually really, really after this and looking forward to adding that to the collection if I can find it at a reasonable price. But that is Sub-Zero, and as you saw, I was rotating the box for you so, so you can actually check it out here. Uh, lots of detail on here, nice big packaging, open window as well. Here you have a little sunroof that the light blasts through so you can really see that ice effect happen on the statue itself on the basin in Sub-Zero's hands. So let's actually just bust this guy out of here and take a closer look at all those wonderful, wonderful details here. And for this, I actually have a letter opener because I am no longer busting any more of my swords and my toy knives. I say that now until the next unboxing. This actually comes with an awesome, awesome background. As you can see, the yellow background back there. But we'll take a closer look. I use that red background from the other ones uh, to this day, all the time. I love the background. So that's very, very cool. Let's check out the background. There's the empty box. Let's put that guy aside. 
and there is the background. So I'm definitely gonna be using this, uh, probably to take photos of all my McFarlane, uh, McFarlane Mortal Kombat 11 figures. Now on the other boxes, I did remove these flaps on the side, so we just have the front and the bottom here. So that's actually really cool. I like that the fire actually continues on the bottom. Very cool, awesome background. Definitely gonna be using that in the future you'll definitely see those in videos and future videos and my instagram if you're following me at claudio's collection on instagram let's go on here we go here is the reveal for sub zero i love how easily this comes off and holy guacamole that is amazing wowzers I'm only looking at it from the back and I can spend forever just looking at all the details already on this Sub-Zero. Check that out. Bring myself a little bit closer. Look at that. You can already see the light blasting from right behind him and how much it really like accentuates all that ice and the ice effect on his hands and the base. The base is tremendous. Like, amazing. Look, look at this. Look how crazy that base is. You have this nice sheet slate of ice and that goes almost well not all the way around but a good good portion around sub-zero's leg here cool pose that he's in as well looks like he's launching his icicles whoa look at his hand yo it's a little hard to see but his hand it kind of looks like he's starting to form an icicle his fingers actually starting to protrude out of the ice here that's very cool, and I'm sure you've noticed the translucent arm back here looks very cool. I just want to shine a bright light right past it. It really does look like it's ice. That is intense. I have this statue of the Phoenix, and when you shine a light behind her, it looks awesome. It just makes her blast. I love this. This is actually an old figure. I love the idea of the translucent plastics here. Now I really do like the composition of this sculpture and I, I love this wave here and how, you know, there's lots of movement in this piece. You have this icicle back behind him, wrapping around his arm here, this icicle slate going up in this direction. Just gives you so much to look at and there's a lot of nice flow overall. Real big fan of this pose in general. There's so many details on him. Uh, starting with the first thing I noticed, I know it's weird, but I noticed his pants. You can actually see really nice fabric texture on there. It's all plastic. It's all PVC uh, plastic. There's a lot of nice wrinkles in his pants, especially by his knee and behind the knee. You can really see all the folds of that fabric. And again, that fabric looks so, so real and detailed. Every time I look at th these things, they blow me away. I am obsessed with all the little details on my figures. And like, I know it's not a big deal, but the wrinkle in the back of his outfit and his gi here is so, so nice. It looks very cool, very believable. Again, all these wrinkles and the sculpt in general really make this uh, piece of art just look legit and like that plastic looks like fabric. You can really see the stitching and the seams here on the side of his pants. That looks intense. I mean like seeing this, there's like a cool yin yang uh, on the base here. I really, really like that detail right there. The ice on the base is actually kind of overlapping and going on top of his foot kind of locks him in there so you can't even take him out if you really tried but that is very cool that they designed it like that it's like his body is ice uh, the ice is just coming out of his foot it looks very very cool i haven't even mentioned the spike that's coming out of here like, look how cool that looks. There's just so many things to look at. Love the blue on Sub-Zero. Nice dry brush to, you know, bring out all those textures in the quilt of his gi here, of his blue outfit. Very cool. And that, that texture that appears on his pants also appears on his black hood as well. Let's see, his shin pads. Very smooth, actually. There, there's not too much uh, texture on there, but it's a shin pad, so I'm not expecting it to be crazy. The back of his legs, where the straps are for his boots, there are nice details in the back of his calves there. The paint job on here is so excellently applied. There's no blemishes or bleed overs of color anywhere. Everything is where it has to be and where it should be. The gi underneath the blue here coming out pops out because of all that nice dry brushing. 
beautiful dry brush all over this guy to be honest you got the blue uh, you got the dry brushing on the calf straps you have the dry brushing on the blue up top here on his gi and on his loincloth back there you have dry brushing on his wrist guards here and i love the just the gradient the gradation from the skin tone of his arms to the translucent ice of well of his arm it looks very very well done and the sculpt in general is phenomenal damn his face is just phenomenally painted i love the mask and all the wrinkles that it has you can really see the bridge of his nose almost looks like you can see his mouth as well very cool nice dry brushing on the mask now the paint job in his eyes very very well done detailed as heck dark skin tones under the eyes he has blue eyes of course it is sub-zero he has nice black eyeliner on the top of his eyes his brows and his eyebrows and the position they're in he looks like a straight up ninja and i'm totally into it we have lots and i mean lots of dry brushing on the base of this sculpture as well we have that nice of course translucent ice look and then we have a white painted dry brush on here to really emphasize that very hard cold edge and very very believable that that is ice uh this is it this is exactly how i picture sub-zero and scorpion and all of the colored ninjas i want all of them in this form this is my favorite uh, favorite look of all of the ninjas it's their classic mk1 attire i love all the details on the new looks but you just can't beat how simple and effective this ninja looks that is so cool i just finished watching revenge of the ninja for all those out there that know that movie i just watched it uh last week so i'm super super into like ninjas well i'm always into ninjas but because i just watched that movie i'm like oh this looks so cool it looks like one of the the statues in that movie it's old it's from 1984 one of my favorite ninja movies to date the bang for your buck that you get when you invest in these diamond select sculptures uh pay off like tenfold it looks so nice guys i'm i'm at a loss for words look at him he's insane he looks so good there's nothing bad for me to say about this figure and just to show you guys what he looks like on the orange background here it is love the contrast the blues and the yellows the orange and teals sorry that's the way that's that's the perfect color combo right there there's a reason why sub-zero and scorpion look so damn good in a fight i think he'll look amazing with the other uh gallery dioramas from mortal kombat and i have them right here here's the katana and here is the raiden again with that amazing amazing translucent uh plastic on raiden that we have here hopefully one day i'll have a scorpion in this collection uh, i will of course be taking more photos of sub-zero and posting them on my instagram again you can check that out at claudio's collection i'll of course leave links in the description where i got all of these items where on the big bad toy store so if you guys love what you saw here and want to add them to your collection go ahead check out those links and with that i'll end this video here it was a long one so congrats if you've made it this far i really really appreciate the time that you guys give me i really really do trust me so again Thanks again for watching, and you can catch me in the next one.